like to continue chapter 7 in this video. So we will proceed to the next part of chapter 7. Uh, next is the frequency up conversion. So um, we need to up convert the carrier frequency after modulation because uh, there will be some uh, loss uh, when or maybe because of the frequency itself is not uh, uh, we'll call it, uh, high enough for the transmission. So if you uh, read over here, the, the up convert is actually necessary to uh, make the desired frequency of transmission to be higher than, uh, than, than, than we need for the system. So the method, there are two methods to up convert the frequency. First, what we call as heterodyne method. Uh, and second is frequency multiplication. I think for the term heterodyne, uh, we have heard this in chapter five under super heterodyne receiver. So this, the same meaning of heterodyne that going to be uh, used in this method. So as a recap, uh, the heterodyne means mixing two or more inputs uh, non-linearly uh, to produce summation and also difference frequency based on the mixing uh, process that have been done. So for heterodyne method, for a modulator in FM, okay, so we have uh, input for FM or PM modulator and uh, we will uh, take five parameters here to be input into a balanced modulator and it will be modulated with the RF frequency uh, using the RF oscillator and also uh, amplified by buffer amplifier. And then we will use a bandpass filter to pass uh, the, the wanted frequency of the carrier low sideband and also upper sideband frequencies. So at the output, uh, what we can see here, the out of five parameters we, we put in, uh, at, I mean, we use at the input, only one parameter, which is uh, carrier frequency, that will have, that will change at the output. And the rest of four parameters here will be remain the same as what we have a, at the input. So the carrier output, uh, uh, sorry, the carrier frequency at the output will be uh, taking from the carrier frequency of input plus with the uh, radio frequency frequ uh, radio frequency of RF signal from the RF oscillator over here. Okay, so next is uh, frequency multiplication. So we need to use a frequency multiplier and we we need to um, set uh, what is the multiplier N here. So the input, the five parameters that we have at the input, uh, if we see in this slide, we will have three parameters over here that we have that will change at the output. And the two remaining uh, frequent, uh, sorry, parameters over here, the frequency of modulating signal and also the bandwidth will be, um, I, will, I will not say same, but for the modulating frequency, it will be remain the same as what we had in input. But for bandwidth, it will be slightly bigger with uh, compared to the bandwidth at the input using uh, this, uh, equation when we have the n multiplier to be um, uh, multiplied with the uh, frequency deviation. So for the three frequency, uh, sorry, three parameters, carrier frequency at the output, uh, frequency deviation at the output, and also modulation index at the output will be changed and multiplied with the frequency multiplier n over here. Okay, so uh, modulation properties uh, which these three actually can be can we can make uh, it increase at the same time that carrier frequency is up convert so not only the carrier frequency that we will uh, will be up convert the deviation frequency as well as modulation in index also will be increased uh, when we use frequency multiplication uh, to uh, increase the power of, uh, sorry, the frequency of transmission. 
Okay, so this would be an example. I also put this example in Kalam. You may try to do this uh, yourself. All right. And then next is about uh, direct FM transmitter. So for FM transmitter, uh, we want to produce an output of waveform. Uh, basically, the frequency deviation is proportional with the modulating signal. So the common uh, FM transmitter that widely used is commercial broadcast band transmitter. And this will be the uh, block diagram of that what we call as cross by direct. Okay, so it used uh, the, the, the frequency modulator, uh, frequency multipliers, which actually also uh, make the signal to be uh, a feedback loop to the modulator by getting the uh, frequency of RF uh, from the crystal oscillator over here. So this part is actually what we call as AFC loop or automatic frequency control loop uh, in order to achieve uh, near crystal stability of the transmit carrier frequency without using crystal oscillator. As we know that we learned in chapter 3, crystal oscillator is the best oscillator to provide the frequency, uh, the stable frequency. So we try to use this in the FM transmitter to get the uh, frequency that actually stable enough for the transmitter to uh, modulate the signals. So once we get um, Okay, the multipliers only we use N1, N2 and N3 and N4 over here is not considered as frequency multiplier for the system because it's inside the FFC loop. Then after that it will be uh, amplified, uh, uh, the power of the uh, signal will be amplified and transmit through an antenna. So um, this is the end of this chapter. Uh, basically we already know and learn about what is amplitude modulation in, in previous chapter, chapter 4 and 5, as well in this chapter, we learn about the concept of FM and PM modulation. And we can uh, say that the advantages of angle modulation, which is FM and PM, has based on the noise immunity, which means it has a limited circuit uh, in removing the noise that come into the system. And second is noise performance and signal to noise ratio performance uh, it improve actually the uh, by reducing the noise level and also improve the SNR level when we uh, use the limited circuit over here. And lastly, the power utilization and efficiency. So the total power remain constant, but uh, actually put most powers uh, in information signal uh, before, uh, I mean, that modulate with the carrier. Uh, so the power is actually more on information, not in the carrier itself. Um, okay, I need to move this here. Um, for the disadvantage, all right, uh, when we do the calculation using Bessel table and also Carlson rules approximation, the bandwidth basically is more than what the AM signal has. But it's actually require more than that because we use it for high quality transmission. We use mostly higher frequency of a uh, signal. And because of that, the circuit complexity and also it will cost much more when we want to uh, using the, the angle modulation transmission. Uh, and, and nowadays it can uh, be uh, solved by using a uh, large scale integration or IC uh, that actually come much more affordable uh, from year to year. All right. So I think that's it for chapter seven. Um, I will see you again in in next video uh, to explain about chapter eight, uh, angle modulation receivers and also the systems. All right. Thank you.